Before we can get into a discussion about aperture and shutter, we need to talk about stops of light and what they stand for and what they mean. Now, we use the term stops of light in photography to basically describe the amount of light that's going to be hitting the sensor. And when we talk about stops of light, it's either going to be half as much light hitting the sensor or twice as much light hitting the sensor. So when you open up uh, on your aperture, which basically means you open up the uh, opening larger so that more light gets in, you're letting in more light. So for every stop that you open up, it's twice as much light. So if you start out at one number and you open up one stop, you let in twice as much light. If you open up two stops, you let in four times the amount of light and so on and so forth. So the same thing happens with the shutter. When we have a set shutter, if we uh, make that shutter longer, we're going to allow twice as much light to come in. And if we make that sh uh, shutter shorter, we allow half as much light to come in. So that's how stops of light basically work. If you have a shutter speed of 1 60th of a second, and you go to 1 1 25th of a second, your shutter is opening and closing twice as fast as it did before. So it's letting in half as much light. Now, if you have, if you start out with a shutter at 2 50th of a second, and you go down to 1 25th of a second, that shutter opens and closes at a much longer duration, and you're gonna let in twice as much light. Now, we use stops of light so that we have an accurate measurement of light that's hitting the sensor, so that way we can make equivalent exposures with it. Aperture, when you use a lower number, that means you're opening up to a wider opening, you're letting in more light. When you use a smaller number, you're closing it down and you're letting in less light. The same thing happens with the shutter. When you use a lower number, you're letting in more light. When you use a higher number, you're letting in less light. So again, the aperture is the same way. If you start at 5.6 and you go down to f4, then you're letting in twice as much light because you've made that opening larger and it's going to allow twice as much light to come through during the same amount of time. And if you start out at 5.5.6 f5 and you go to f8, now you've made that hole uh, smaller and so that hole is going to let in half as much light as it did before during the same amount of time. So that's the basics of stops of light and uh, how you use them in photography. And by having a designated amount of light coming and hitting that sensor and knowing that it's going to be there twice as much or half as much for every adjustment that we make, this allows us to control how our uh, photos are going to look and how our exposures are going to look. So now we can move on to talking about aperture and shutter.